preferred investment destination because it's attributed with political stability, strong... Ladies and gentlemen, the Honourable Minister has arrived. A very warm welcome to you, sir. We also have our other dignitaries will be on the days who has accompanied him. And in a very short while from now, we're going to start with our event. Once again, I request everyone present here to kind of keep their mobiles in the silent in the switched off mode. Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit, conceptualized in 2003 under the visionary leadership of Sri Narendra Modi ji, Honorable Prime Minister of India, the then Honorable Chief Minister of Gujarat, has today evolved as one of the most reputed global forums for business networking, knowledge sharing, 
and strategic partnerships for inclusive growth and sustainable development. The 10th Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit has been scheduled from 10th to 12th January 2024 in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. It will be inaugurated by Sri Narendra Modi Ji, Honorable Prime Minister of India, on the 10th of January 2024. Besides affording useful networking opportunities through B2B, B2G and G2G meetings, the summit will host various events including seminars and conferences on various globally relevant topics. Namaskar and good morning ladies and gentlemen. I am Tina Tatifa Masood and I take this opportunity to warmly welcome each and everyone present here to the vibrant Gujarat 2024 Guwahati Roadshow. I will now take this privilege to welcome thank you. I will now take this privilege to welcome our distinguished guests onto the days. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are truly honored and privileged to have in our midst the Honorable Minister of State for Tourism, Culture, Forest and Environment and Climate Change Government of Gujarat, Sri Murubhai Bera. Warm welcome to you, sir. May I request you to kindly come onto the dais and take your seat. And please put your hands together as I request our Honorable Minister to kindly come onto the dais and take your seat, sir. Please. We are happy to have in our midst the Principal Secretary, Forest and Environment, Government of Gujarat, Sri Sanjeev Kumar. May I request you to come, into, come onto the dais and take your seat, sir. And a huge round of applause for him as well. We have with us the Chairman of the Gujarat Pollution Control Board, Government of Gujarat, Sri Ranjit Singh Bharat. I would request you to kindly come onto the uh, onto the dais and take your seat, sir. We warmly welcome Sri Tejas Parmar, Managing Director of Madhya Pradesh Vidge Company Limited, onto the dais. We welcome you and put your hands together from Sri Tejas Parmar. We are absolutely elated by the presence of the additional principal Chief Conservator of Forest, Government of Gujarat, Sri Jaipal Singh. May I request you, sir, to kindly come onto the dais and take your seat. And a round of applause for Sri Jaipal Singh, sir. We warmly welcome the Vice Chairman, CII Assam Council and Managing Director, Numoligo Refinery Limited, Sri Bhaskar Fukon, onto the dais. Sir, please. I would now like to warmly welcome the past chairman, CII Gujarat Council, and chairman and managing director, Arunaya Organics Private Limited, Sri Vinod Agrawal, onto the dais to take his seat. Once again, a very warm welcome to our guests on the dais and a round of applause for them, please. Thank you, and a warm welcome. We now move on to the felicitation ceremony, ladies and gentlemen. May I request Sri Bhaskar Fukan? to kindly come forward and felicitate Sri Murubhai Bera, the Honorable Minister for Tourism, Culture, Forest and Environment, and Climate Change, Government of Gujarat. It's our privilege that you're here with us today, sir. I would request Sri Bhaskar Fukun once again to felicitate Sri Sanjeev Kumar. May I request Sri Bhaskar Fukan to kindly felicitate Sri Ranjit Singh Bharat. May I request you, sir, to kindly felicitate Sri Tejas Parmar. We request you, sir, to felicitate Sri Jaipal Singh. And we'd request you to kindly felicitate Sri Vinod Agrawal. May I request Sri Vinod Agrawal ji to kindly felicitate Sri Bhaskar Fukan.
Thank you very much, sir, and a warm welcome once again. May I now request Sri Bhaskar Fukan, Vice Chairman, CIIS Farm Council, and Managing Director of the Monico Refinery Limited, to present the welcome address, sir. Very good morning, Sri <coughs> Munu Bhai Bera, Honorable Minister of Tourism, Culture, Forest. Environment and Climate Change Government of Gujarat, Sri Sanjeev Kumar, IS Principal Secretary, Forest and Environment Government of Gujarat, Sri Ranjit Singh Bharat, IS Chairman, Gujarat Pollution Control Board, Government of Gujarat, Sri Tejas Parmar, IS Managing Director, Moindra uh, Gujarat Beach Company Limited, Sri Jaspal Singh, IFS Additional Principal Chief Conservator of Forest, Government of Gujarat, Sri Binud Pass, Chairman, Pass Chairman, uh, CIA Gujarat Council, and Chairman Arvindaya Organic Private Limited. Very good morning to everyone. On behalf of CIA and um, on my personal behalf, I would like to welcome all of you to Gohati Roadshow for the Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit 2024. Gohati, nestled in a, the beautiful landscape of northeast of India, stands as a strategic player in the economic travesty of the region. The, uh, with its unique geographical location and the diverse economic sectors, Guwahati is emerging as a key contributor to sustain growth and development of the northeastern states of the country. The Gujarat-Assam partnership is a dynamic alliance and transcends conventional collaborations. It is a fusion of shared aspiration boundless opportunities and limitless possibilities. Aligned in vision, Gujarat and Assam envision economic prosperity, technological advancement and sustainable development. I am certain that Roadshow today will pave the way for future collaborations by cultivating a synergistic connection between the two regions, reaching potential, poised for exponential growth and innovation. Vibrant Gujarat, the biennial Global Investor Summit is our beacon of progress. It showcases the vibrant range of opportunity that Gujarat offers to the world. In the last 20 years, the summit has played a pivotal role in the economic transformation of Gujarat, attracting investments, talents, and ideas from across the globe. The vibrant Gujarat Global Summit has carved a niche for itself as a premier platform for fostering economic growth, attracting investments, and catalyzing partnerships. Today, as we gather in Kahati, we recognize the immense potential that this summit holds for our industries in Assam. The Confederation of Indian Industries has been actively supporting both the central and state governments of the Northeastern region through policy inputs and both the, sec uh, both the sectoral and regional level. Major recommendations have been shared with the Department of Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, DPIIT, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ministry of External Affairs, Finance Ministry, Department of Northeastern Region, Donor Ministry, Parliamentary Standing Committee on Commerce, Northeastern Council, and the state governments on introducing a new industrial policy for Northeast, improving the ease of doing business, bridging infrastructural deficits, accelerating industrialization, and bilateral and multilateral trade en engagement in the region. At CII, we take pride in being catalyst for change and progress in this region. Our commitment to fostering economic growth, advocating favorable policies, and creating an environment conducive to business and innovation is unwavering. Today, we stand united in our mission to make Assam a hub of industrial and economic excellence. CII has been instrumental in strengthening the partnership between the industries in Assam and the government. Through its dedication, and insightful recommendation, it has contributed significantly to the policy inter initiatives that have not only sparked the economic growth, but also enhanced the quality of life for the people of Assam in general. CII, in association with DPIIT, organized the first ever CII Northeast Logistic Conclave in this very venue, 
in Guwahati in December 2022, the conclave saw participation of six line ministries and the government of, uh, of government of India and eight state governments along with private sector. The participants deliberated on making the Northeastern logistically future ready given its strategic location and sub-regional context. Assam, with its uh, diverse and vibrant economy, has immense potential across various sectors and participating in the vibrant Gujarat Summit will open a gateway for Assam's industries to the world. As we stand here, we extend a heartfelt, heartfelt invitation to the business community and the industries of Assam Gujarat welcomes you with open arms, ready to explore new horizons and create partnership that will shape the future. In conclusion, I would like to add this roadshow is not merely an event but a bridge connecting Assam to a global network of business leaders, policy makers and industry experts. This is an opportunity for our industries to engage meaningful, uh, in meaningful dialogues foster collaboration and establish partnership that transcends geographical boundaries. The exchange of ideas and expertise can propel Assam's industries into new realm of innovation and growth. Let us embrace this platform with enthusiasm and determination, knowing that the future of Assam industry is poised for a remarkable transformation through the opportunities that will be unveiled at the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. Thank you. We extend our gratitude to you, Sri Bhaskar, for concern. Ladies and gentlemen, we now request you to direct your attention to the screen as we present before you an audiovisual film on vibrant Gujarat. Papa, what are you planning here, Papa? Your thy future. Twenty years ago. Just like this, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the then Chief Minister of Gujarat, planted a seed of a vision in the soil of Gujarat. There were challenges and obstacles, countless hurdles and innumerable constraints. Undaunted and undeterred, he thought big. His visionary leadership surmounted them all. He looked beyond the horizons. He looked ahead of the times. He looked into the future, responding to challenges, overcoming adversity, and enthusiastically exploring newer opportunities. Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. One man leading from the front, one idea reigning supreme. 20 years bringing about an impactful transformation. 100,000 MOUs signed, nearly 75,000 commissioned or at various stages of completion. $55 billion in foreign direct investments. With perseverance and conviction, Sri Narendra Modi conceptualized vibrant Gujarat a visionary initiative that has blossomed into a premier global platform for business networking, knowledge sharing, and strategic partnerships. Today, the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit is a global event of bonding. One idea, a reality translated on the ground. India's first international financial services center, Gift City, now operational. World's largest diamond hub, strengthening global supply chains. World's tallest statue, dedicated to the people. India's first petroleum chemicals and petrochemical investment region, championing circular economic policies. India's first greenfield smart city, setting the benchmark for sustainable development. India's largest hybrid energy park, pioneering renewable energy. Highest exports from India achieved. Ease of doing business, boosting entrepreneurship and innovation. 
ease of living, enhancing quality of life. Millions of employment opportunities across sectors through its business-friendly policies. State-of-the-art infrastructure facilitating next-generation urban planning. Where do you find testimony of all these on the faces of bright young children? Confident, skilled youth, relaxed elders, happy and healthy families, inclusive society, empowered women, flourishing investors and world leaders. Gujarat stands out different and perhaps better than anywhere else in the country. One would be considered stupid in not investing in Gujarat. One thinks of Gujarat, what comes to mind are its confidence, vitality, innovation, vision, progressiveness, and of course, its can do attitude. Reliant engagement in Gujarat is a partnership to celebrate the spirit of this great state, the spirit to trigger a billion Indian dreams. And I salute that spirit. If we work together, I am convinced that the world's oldest democracy and the world's largest democracy can end extreme poverty in our lifetime. We are grateful for the input, for the business, and the science, and the innovation that the people of India have brought to our nation. The last 20 years were but a prologue. Gujarat has performed, reformed, and transformed. And it's all set to perform again. It's all set to scale loftier aspirational heights. The world awaits with a bated breath. For when Gujarat dreams, India envisions. And when India acts, the world marvels. Under the able guidance of Chief Minister Bhupendra Bhai Patel, with the first vibrant summit during Amrit Kal in the offing, Gujarat is all fully geared up to play a proactive role in realizing Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision of Vixit Bharat at 2047. At Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit 2024, witness Gujarat's onward march into the future with unbridled enthusiasm, unflagging zeal, unwavering confidence, and unsurpassed optimism. From smart manufacturing to smart businesses, Gujarat spearheads the fourth industrial revolution with Industry 4.0. The state also aims to drive innovation by leveraging space technology, artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain, and the Internet of Things across sectors to build smart, connected infrastructure with its thriving primary sector, robust manufacturing sector, and its burgeoning tertiary sector, the state of Gujarat is all set to contribute nearly 10% to India's journey towards a $5 trillion economy, which will enable the country to become the world's third largest economy in the next few years empowering MSMEs and women entrepreneurs, creating youth-centric skill development ecosystem. Gujarat spearheads India's tech aid as a lighthouse for startups and e-commerce. From textiles, bulk drugs, medical devices, ceramics and biotech, Gujarat aims to facilitate sector-specific plug-and-play parks, driving inclusive growth the state is going to be a game changer in semiconductors and electronics manufacturing, blazing trails in sustainability and net zero emissions, unlocking the circular economy's potential, catalyzing India's green hydrogen mission, and aspiring to become an electric vehicle and green energy hub with investments in battery and bulk storage solutions, along with iconic projects in aerospace and defense, Gujarat is well on its way to becoming future ready. Today, a global fortune 500 company only, and a company of Gujarat has started a lot of work. 
આ બધું વાયબ્રન્ટ સમિટ ની સફળતાને કારણે જ શક્ય બન્યું છે Capitalizing exponential growth and human progress, the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit has created an ecosystem for development. With gross state domestic product growing significantly between 2002-03 and 2022-23, outpacing national averages. This is not the time to stop. In the last 20 years, अगले 20 वर्ष ज्यादा महत्वपूर्ण है यही समय है जब भारत को एक ऐसा रोड मैप बनाना होगा जो उसे 2047 फोर्टी सेवन तक एक विकसित आत्मनिर्भर राष्ट्र के रूप में हम उसको दुनिया के सामने प्रस्थापित करें The audio visual on Vibrant Gujarat has okay. energized and set the tone for the Guwahati Road Show. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vibrant Gujarat 2024 Guwahati Road Show is to elucidate about the business opportunities in Gujarat and who better than Sri Sanjeev Kumar, the Principal Secretary of Forest and Environment, to show us this through a presentation on business opportunities in Gujarat. Sir, please. गुजरात राज्य के माननीय कैबिनेट मंत्री श्री टूरिज्म कल्चर फॉरेस्ट एंड एनवायरमेंट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज श्री गुलू भाई भेरा साहब गुजरात सरकार के मेरे साथी अधिकारी श्री श्री भारत साहब श्री जयपाल सिंह श्री तेजस वर्मा श्री भास्कर फुकन जी वाइस चेयरमैन सी आई आई गुवाहाटी असैम श्री विनोद अग्रवाल जी उद्योग जगत ने के स्टीम्ड इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू and a very warm welcome i consider it a matter of great honor and pride to address this august gathering on vibrant gujarat see gujarat has taken significant strides in developing a resilient and vibrant economy over the past few decades with just 6% of the total geographical area and 5% of uh, the country's population which are contributes almost 83% of india's gdp the share of manufacturing sector in gujarat's gross state value added is 37% the gujarat has received a total of usd 30, 55 billion of cumulative forest foreign uh, investment gujarat now contributes nearly 33% share to india's aggregate exports uh, to be valued at us 150 billion during the financial year 2223 gujarat is also a hub of msmes with over 1.3 million msmes registered across the value chain gujarat stands time tested nationality and globally for offering conducive business ecosystem supported by state of the art infrastructure 
Gujarat stands first in many respects. It has earned for itself a unique distinction of being the best performing state across parameters such as logistics performance index, good governance index, ease of doing business, and startup ranking. In 2009, Gujarat was the first state in India to take a pioneering step forward by establishing a dedicated climate change department under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister, who was then the Chief Minister of Gujarat. Now, let me talk about uh, why one should invest in Gujarat. As many of you would have already known or do have a presence in Gujarat, I must say there are many compelling reasons to invest in Gujarat. The state has robust, multifaceted social and physical infrastructure. It presents an imitable blend of hospitality and enterprise fortified with healthy growth indicators, the business-friendly environment, and simplified procedures. The state satisfies the wish list of just any investor who would like to see their enterprise up and running in the shortest possible time. The remarkable track record of investments blossoming into thriving business during the last 20 years of vibrant Gujarat has led the state to become one of the most preferred business destinations for investors. Gujarat has an extraordinary industrial ecosystem. When we talk about power, the installed power generation capacity is around 48.5 gigawatt. The renewable energy accounts for nearly 45% in the energy basket. Also due to its strategic location, Gujarat is very well connected in, term, in terms of well-surfaced roads, rail connectivity, airports connectivity, ports and communications. The state has an efficient gas and water grid network. There is sufficient land availability in the state. We have nearly 200 and plus industrial states and 100 industrial parks like PM, Mitra, Bulk, Drug Park, to name a few. And also there are special investment regions like PCPIR, Dolera, and Mandal Bhishaji. Our Honorable Prime Minister's inspirational guidance and vision, and under the able leadership of Honorable Chief Minister of Gujarat, Gujarat has become home to state-of-art future-ready infrastructure projects like DMIC, Gift City, Dolera SIR, Dream City, High Speed Rail, and Mandal Bhishaji SIR. World's largest 30,000 megawatt wind solar hybrid park is in Kutch. Now let me talk about something about uh, PM Gati Shakti. Uh, with more than 2,000 data layers, this GIS-based uh, tool enables the whole of government approach for integrated and regional planning for comprehensive physical and social infrastructure. The PM Gati Shakti has already helped us in various projects, including gap assessment, resource optimization through cost reduction, and ensuring comprehensive coverage to industries and citizens. Gujarat intends to further utilize PM Gati Shakti for planning at the district level and down below. I am sure this tool will help the private sector as well in optimized planning of the projects as well as identification of suitable land parcels based on various selection criteria. In the last two decades, the government of Gujarat has initiated a plethora of reforms to facilitate industries. We are a government totally committed under the leadership of Honorable Chief Minister Sri Bhupendra Bhai Padel, sir, on the vision and principles laid down 
by the Honorable Prime Minister. We are committed to creating an investor-friendly ecosystem, handhold the business, and make their investment journey smooth and hassle-free. We have an investor facilitation portal, a digitized land bank, and dedicated country desk. Reduction in various compliances have made it easier for companies to start an industry in the state. Gujarat was the first state in the country to enact the MSME Act with a motto of first production, then permission. This allows MSMEs to start right away and permissions can follow. Gujarat is a national leader across many sectors such as automobile and automobile components, chemicals and petrochemicals, textiles, pharmaceuticals, ceramics, gems and jewelry, to name a few. We have the world's largest grassroots oil refinery that is located at Jamnagar. Eight out of ten diamonds pass through Gujarat before they actually reach our customers. We have the world's second largest ceramic cluster located at Mobi. We have Asia's largest dairy, which is consistently increasing its uh, output. In automobile and auto components, we have well-established auto clusters across the value chain. The state's focus now is on becoming an electric vehicle hub. Today, we are in the process of establishing a value ch chain across various sectors with both forward, forward and uh, backward integration. This is being facilitated through the different policies and effective investment promotion. The state's focus is on becoming a hub for semiconductor and ESDM, green hydrogen and derivatives, high-tech manufacturing and consumer goods and others and the government is ready to facilitate the investors with the required support in all these areas. Since 2003, when our Honorable Prime Minister was in the, then the Chief Minister of Gujarat, he conceptualized vibrant Gujarat. And Gujarat has been a policy-driven state. Recently, uh, the state government of Gujarat came up with a new renewable energy policy towards the realization of Panchamitra goals laid down by our Honorable Prime Minister. This renewable energy policy covers all major renewables and encourages setting up of renewable generation projects based on wind, solar, solar, wind, solar hybrid technologies. This policy aims to achieve 50% target of renewable energy capacity by 2030. In line with Honorable Prime Minister's vision of At Nirbhar Bharat, the government of Gujarat has come up with the At Nirbhar Gujarat scheme 2022 for assistance to industries. The key incentives offered under this policy are capital subsidy for certain categories of industries, interest subsidy, net SGST reimbursement, capital input tax credit reimbursement, electricity duty exemption. The state has over 13 lakh Udyam registered MSMEs. Gujarat is among the most preferred investment destinations for MSMEs in the country because of the initiatives taken by the government of Gujarat. MSMEs are exempted from obtaining approvals for a period of three years and they can start their operations immediately and permissions can follow their own. The MSME facilitation help desks have been set up across major industrial clusters in the state to provide guidance related to setting up of enterprise, financial management, various schemes and others. There are nearly 200 plus clusters in the state comprising sectors such as engineering, textiles, brass parts, chemicals, and others. Gujarat is also home to prestigious academic institutes 
across fields of education like management, technology, design, fashion and others in addition to institutes of national importance like I am Andhavar, IIT Gandhi Nagar, National Institute of Design Andhavar, National Institute of Design Gandhi Nagar. Focus is also on emerging areas like artificial intelligence, machine learning, drone technology. Several other government and private institutions have been established in the state during the last 20 years, which have helped the state towards becoming a knowledge-based society. National Forensic Science University, Rashtriya Raksha University, Pandit Teen Dayal Energy University, Nirmal University, just to name a few. There are 108 universities, 590 plus ITIs, as well as a number of engineering and polytechnics and medical colleges. We are fully geared up to equip our youth with modern age skills in line with the National Education Policy 2020 so as to make them industry ready from the standpoint of emerged uh, market requirements. As part of Vibrant Gujarat, uh, the nine Vibrant Gujarat summits organized so far, held so far, have immensely contributed to promoting innovation and entrepreneurship in the state. The state has iCreate, that is International Center for Entrepreneurship and Technology, iHub, and industry-specific centers of excellence, COE, such as the International Automobile Center of Excellence, IACE. The Andhavar Textile Industries Research Association, that is ATIRA, promotes research and innovation in fiber to finish fabrics in traditional textiles as well as technical textiles. We have a dedicated student startup and innovation policy, SSIP 2.0. Sustainability is uh, one of the key areas which the Honorable Prime Minister has given thrust to and was also a key component of the G20 New Delhi Leaders Declaration in September 2023. Gujarat is the first state to establish Climate Change Department as I mentioned earlier in Asia in 2009. Our 30,000 megawatt plus wind solar hybrid power which is coming up in Kutch is expected to be a game changer for the country. We have the highest installed wind power capacity in the country and also the first in rooftop solar. Gujarat is one of the most urbanized states with almost 50% of the population staying in urban areas. Both socially and culturally, we have a vibrant way of life. Cities in Gujarat have expanded so systematically and beautifully over the last two decades. Our major cities like Ahmedabad, Surat and Baroda are among the top 10 cities in the Ease of Living Index. We have the state-of-art healthcare facilities and multi-speciality hospitals in the state. We are totally building sport infrastructure in line with global standards. One of the most important factors is the excellent law and order situation which Gujarat offers. Anyone can move around at any time of the day without worrying about safety. We are a vibrant tourist destination. Statue of Unity, the world's tallest statue, was made under the direction, constant supervision and inspiration of our Honorable Prime Minister in a record time of just 48 months. This project reflects inclusive development. As per India's tourism statistics, with 1.78 million visitors, Gujarat had 
the highest foreign tourist visits in the country in 2022, accounting for more than 20% share of the country's uh, uh, foreign tourists. Gujarat is a place where we have Asiatic lands, heritage sites, UNESCO heritage sites, and spiritual destinations also. Gujarat has four UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Dholavira, Champanir, Pavagar Archaeological Park, Rani Ki Wav in Patan, and the historic city of Ahmedabad, India's first world heritage city. Gujarat is committed to realizing our Honorable Prime Minister's vision of an Atmanirbhar Bharat and a Vixit Bharat by 2047, and the state has been working relentlessly towards these visions. The agenda of the vibrant Gujarat Summit 2024 will be to carry forward the national priorities, spreading its reach and vibrancy at state, national and international level. <coughs> vibrant Gujarat Summit has evolved over the years from re-establishing Gujarat as an investment destination to making Gujarat a preferred investment destination, carrying it forward to making Gujarat as most preferred investment destination as well as showcasing Gujarat as the growth engine of India. The upcoming 10th edition with the theme Gateway to the Future will be the first summit to be organized in the Amrit Khan. National and international road shows were also held to showcase Gujarat's strength and opportunities and invite uh, participants to the Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit 2024. The summit will host various events including seminars and conferences on globally re relevant topics <coughs> such as Industry 4.0, Technology and Innovation, Sustainable Manufacturing, Green Hydrogen, Electric Mobility and Renewable Energy, and transitioning towards sustainability. A global trade show has also been planned to showcase the new age technology as well as innovation across sectors. In the run-up to the summit, various pre-summit seminars across different sectors have been planned like chemical and petrochemicals, agro and food processing, startup and others. Till now, we have successfully concluded three summits on ceramics, national education policy, and textiles. A three-day summit will revolve around the theme on Industry 4.0, technology, and innovation, and transitioning towards sustainability. The topics of all the seminars and conferences to be covered will fall under three broad themes. Gujarat's Roadmap to Vixit Bharat 2047, MSME Conclave, Semiconductor and Electronics, Electric Vehicle Manufacturing, Circular Economy are just examples of some of the topics of the seminars during the summit. The country and state seminars and B2B <coughs> B2G, G2G meetings have been planned across the three days. The summit will provide an enabling platform for other states and partner countries also. The Vibrant Gujarat the Global Trade Show spread over 2 lakh square meters is one of the largest trade shows in the world. It will be inaugurated on 9th uh, January 2024 and will continue till uh, 13th January 2024, it will showcase the decade disruptive technologies and champion services uh, sectors. Reverse buyer seller meet, vendor development, etc., will be the other attractions during the global trade show. With this, I would like to invite all of you to be a part of the 10th edition of the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. Thank you all for your time and attention. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you.
Thank you very much, sir, for this extremely interesting and valuable presentation. Dolera SIR is a special economic region in Gujarat, which will attract a lot of investments in the future from other states and other countries as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have an audiovisual film on Dolera SIR. The new era of futuristic living has begun, which is not just a dream anymore, but a reality. A city where the happiness index is the benchmark of growth and where visions and innovations thrive towards a better quality of life. Welcome to Dhalira, special investment region. India's first and largest greenfield industrial smart city. A vision of Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi. A gift to the citizens of the country, marking Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. With a total footprint of 920 square kilometers, Dhalira SIR is strategically nestled on the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor and set within 100 kilometers southwest of Ahmedabad in the progressive state of Gujarat. Dhalira SIR is also mapped on BM Gati Shakti Master Plan Portal which is Government of India's initiative to integrate real-time data on land availability, multimodal transportation and logistics infrastructure to enable faster investment decision. Having received a platinum rating by IGBC, the city is ready to offer various industries the ecosystem to flourish. Dhanira aspires to offer its citizens the highest quality of life with an apt work-life balance. With people-centric spaces like the canal front, open green spaces and social infrastructure, the citizens will enjoy recreational and leisure activities like never before. The activation area of 22.54 square kilometers is ready to accommodate industry and citizens with more than 72 kilometers of road and utility network on both sides of the roads. To meet the power requirements of the industries, Dhanira is ready with the power distribution network established by UGVCL and Torrent Power. Approval has been received for the development of 4400 megawatt solar power project, which will help in achieving the national goal of green energy generation of 250 gigawatt by 2030. The development of 300 megawatt is already commissioned by Tata Power Company Limited. It is India's largest single access tracker based project and a marvel engineering as well as execution capabilities demonstrated out there. The way Dolera SIR has supported us in all the issues which comes is actually a great example of what the government bureaucracy can do when they intend to support an industry and the development of a particular region. The power evacuation to the grid is already operational, which is laid down by Getco, a state power transmission company. With the provisions for increased capacity in place, the industries and citizens of Dhalira will enjoy 24-7 uninterrupted, reliable and safe power within the city. The world-class four-lane expressway connecting Dhalira with Ahmedabad is under construction and is expected to be completed by the year 2024. The expressway corridor will incorporate a rail network as well. Implementation work has already begun for the construction of Bhimnath Dhalira Freight Line. It will ease the movement of goods and services via the dedicated freight corridor and connecting the seaports like Bhavnagar, Pipabhav and others. The government of India has given approval for the development of the Greenfield Dhalera International Airport and construction work for phase one has already begun with a vision to serve the development goals of the region for the next 25 to 30 years. This will be the second airport to Ahmedabad. The city optimizes the use of intelligent IoT infrastructure and government systems. 
The data will be shared with the City Integrated Operation Center or CIOC at the Administration and Business Center of Dhanira. Providing a strong backbone to the city is its smart water management system. Along with the Stormwater Canal, this robust system features water treatment plant, master balancing reservoir, sewage treatment plant, and common effluent treatment plant. This holistic water network will ensure water sustainability with more than 200 MLD of recycled water for the city, with provisions for future expansions in place. Land allotment for industries has already begun for contiguous land parcels of size ranging from 1 acre to 330 acres and more to accommodate large production facilities like defense, aviation, electronics, high-tech emerging technologies, pharmaceuticals, auto and auto ancillary, general manufacturing, agro and food processing, and many more. The Tata Group will establish a very large scale aerospace and high-tech manufacturing facility in Dolera. And this will also catapult India to produce quality systems, which will help India to produce high precision and high quality manufacturing products. Dolera SIR is ready to offer infrastructural boost for the development of semiconductor and display industry in India. In accordance with the Gujarat Semiconductor Policy, there will soon be Dhalera Semicon City within SIR. This is the beginning of a new era. Dhalera is ready to welcome you and your aspirations. Dhalera, India's own global smart city. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say that Dholera SIR is an exciting and very interesting prospect to look forward to. Experience is the child of thought, and thought is the child of action. May I now request Sri Vinod Agrawal, past chairman CII Gujarat Council, and chairman and managing director Arunaya Organics Limited, to share his experience with us. So. Good morning, dignitaries on dais, Honorable Minister for Tourism, Culture, Forest and Environment and Climate Change, Sri Mulubai Vera, Sri Sanju Kumar, IAS, Principal Secretary, Sri Jaipal Singh Ji, Sri Bhaskar Bhukan Ji, Sri Tejas Parma Ji, industry members, friends. Gujarat has a robust industrial landscape fostering growth through a conducive business environment and industrial-friendly policies. The state's single window clearance system expedites approvals and reduces bureaucratic hurdles. State is among India's most advanced manufacturing bases and benefits from regularly updated industrial policies, export promotion schemes, preferential in incentives for, in for foreign investment and ecosystem for OEM firms and M MSME cluster. Friends, these were not my words, but the essence was given in November 2021 by Honorable Prime Minister, then Chief Minister in Shanghai. Because I was stationed, I worked 10 years in China and then in 2011 when Honorable Prime Minister came, gave one hour of speech, he gave the vision for Gujarat, he gave what his idea is for the Vixit Bharat then in 2011, which we are seeing today. That one hour speech changed our mindset. In the evening I came back to home, I told my wife, let's pack our bags. In 2012, May, we came back to Gujarat, back to Ahmedabad. We established our first factory in, in Ahmedabad for chemical industry, specialized in color chemicals. In 2016, we established second factory, and now we are in, in phase to start the third factory at the age PCPIR for, we are into specialized colors for uh, different brands of the world. We manufacture very customized colors for many, many multinational brands. We work for the paper industry also. Most of the Amazon cartoon boxes uses our brown colors for American and <coughs> Latin American countries. We export to more than 20 countries. Sir, uh, 
what we used to import from China, now we are exporting to China, some of our products. So this is how the technology, this is how the ecosystem of MSME in Gujarat has helped us, the MSME, not only the big com companies, large scale companies, but the MSME cluster development system of Gujarat has helped many, many MSMEs. As such, as we have more than 1.4 million registered MSMEs in Gujarat, which is working for the development for the economy of Gujarat. Now, why Gujarat has ranked in so many and why all the world is looking as the Gujarat model? Because you can see there is a proactive government policies. The government, Gujarat government, as you can see, the IS officers, the bureaucrats works as a corporate. They give the presentations, not only presentation, we can see in reality. They are accessible to us anytime. When we work as a CI chairman, I used to be part of many government uh, policy making. So they take the feedbacks from the industries, what is required for the industry, how, what is required for the state, and then we sit down together and we find out the good policies required for the development of the state and at, at large for the uh, country. I have not seen in last 20 years any industrial strikes in Gujarat. So that's the biggest advantage. The You can say even there is a prohibition, but still the migrant laborers are very, very uh, uh, living peacefully in Gujarat. Even at the COVID times we have seen, there were all the industries have protected them, the workers have worked, and there was not so many uh, closures in Gujarat, if you see, even during the COVID times. Infrastructure development, as I say, we have the largest ports, airports, everything, which is very much required for any exports. Before, we used to have only one uh, port, Navasava, every goods has to go to Bombay. We used to take 15 days, 20 days just to receive our cargo. Now, with lot of ports, inland ports, even they have our own ICDs. We have Mudra, Kandla, even ICD, Ahmedabad. So, the time, the zero uh, time uh, for imports as well as exports are reduced. Now, sir, we have so many things that the container which we come for imports to a factory, we use same for our exports. So this is the logistic cost which is reduced, which is, you, you can say we are saving a lot of money, unless and until we will not save the cost on logistic, we cannot be competitive against China or any other country. Power, we, as a chemical industry, we know that power is very important for all our uh, continuous processes. So 24 hours, seven days uh, uninterrupted power and with uh, uh, new deliver policies and uh, uh, all other infrastructure, power is never a problem. Other punch mid ke liye power chala hai, and that mein it becomes a big news. So that, that's kind of infrastructure has been created in Gujarat. Investor friendly climate. Gujarat has been always been a friendly climate is a testament for the Gujarat government's commitment for fostering industrial growth. You know, when a policy has been designed, subsidies been announced, but to get the subsidies, logo ke bolta hai, time kharab ho jata hai. But in Gujarat, everything is online. If you applied a subsidy, in time frame, you get your money directly credited in your accounts. So that, that's the way technology has been used. Focus on technology. Gujarat was the first, and uh, GPC chairman is here, was the first to introduce XGN portal for pollution control. Wherein all the approvals of your polishing industry, the red category industries, even the right now, the waste management, your solid waste management, your liquid waste management, everything has to be uploaded on the portal and everything approvals are done without visiting the Paryavaran Bhavan in Gandhinagar. Effective implementation of reforms. Implementation is a crucial as the formulation of policies. Gujarat has demonstrated effective implementation of business reforms, ensuring that intended benefit reach businesses on ground. We have seen all the rankings, what uh, Gujarat has achieved, whether it's logistics or ease of doing or startup, startup ecosystem. If you see last three years, Niti Aayog is giving the best uh, ecosystem for Gujarat because Gujarat has formed a uh, policy called SSIP under Education Ministry, as well as Industrial Ministry, as well as uh, Biotechnology department. So there are three policies for startup for encouraging all our youth, right from university level to the uh, the maturity stage. We have more than 3,500 registered startups in Gujarat, which government gives regular grants. 
now we are as a mentors they involve industries also so that the we can have the initial hand holding of all the uh, in uh, startups the key what i can say in gujarat is the msme cluster development because any msme as a stand alone cannot uh, st uh, develop so the ecosystem whether it is now what we call it as one district one product gujarat is having last 25 years 20 years if you see modbi as a cluster has developed if you see amdavad there are more than 1200 uh, dyes and chemical industries which accounts to more than 2 billion dollars of exports from amdavad there are lot many small small industries which come together and build like a big industry so this is the success of gujarat this is the success of smallest individual of gujarat and in the end i would say as our always our wisdom say kuch din to gujara gujarat mein tabhi aapko pata chalega kya hai thank you thank you very much shri vinod agarwal sir for sharing your experience with us gujarat international finance tech city gift city for short this region is now poised to become the next silicon valley Ladies and gentlemen, we now present for you an audiovisual film on Gift City. <coughs> sure. About thousands of years ago, human civilization inhabited on the banks of river, embarked on to create the economic occupations. Today, After thousands of years, it is undeniable that business districts, financial services, and IT, IT enabled services sector growth add to its thriving economic expansion. India, one of the fastest developing countries in the world, is scaling new heights with productive integration of easy business provisions and fiscal transactions. Gujarat has always been a preferred investment destination because it's attributed with political stability strong leadership pro business policies vast talent pool entrepreneurial spirit and state of the art infrastructure it was back in 2007 when the concept of smart cities was evolving our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi who was the then chief minister of gujarat laid the vision to give the smartest city to the country Gift City, Gujarat International Finance Tech City. Today, the first operational smart city of India, recognized by the Ministry of Urban Development, Government of India, in 2015. Gift City has set a benchmark for upcoming smart cities in the country. Recently, Gift City became India's first platinum rated city, highest certification as greenfield smart city, strategically situated on the bank of Sabarmati River. Gift City is in vicinity to the political and business capital Gandhinagar and Ahmedabad. Having convenient access to the international airports, Gift City is well connected with London, Singapore, New York and other leading global cities and as well as with domestic cities. While metro and BRTS facilities ease out intra-city travel, extending to its prestigious advantages are the nation's premier education institutions in its neighborhood. Fast developing Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor along the National Highway 48 speed up the interstate commute. The region Want to create a world-class finance and IT zone for India to provide services not only to India but the entire world. Spread over 886 acres of land, Gift City is based upon integrated development model with smart offices. residential areas retail and recreational zones including social infrastructures like business clubs schools hospitals and hotels one of the major points of its success is its world class infrastructure 
many of which have been implemented in the country for the first time, such as utility tunnel, district cooling system, automated waste collection system, uninterrupted power supply, city command and control center, and ICT infrastructure. Above all, Gift Urban Development Authority and Notified Area Committee enables Gift City to offer municipal functions and single window solutions. The country's prestigious developers and institutions have played an important role in the development of various facilities. Gift City is the ideal platform for service sector industries such as banking, capital markets, insurance, fintech, IT, IT enabled services, etc., for their back office operations, corporate offices, R&D centers, and many more. Gift City will host world-class fintech hub and international maritime cluster, supported by the government of India and the government of Gujarat. The master plan for Gift City covers two aspects, including domestic services area (DTA) and special economic zone (SEZ) with IFSC. These make it the preferred destination for the business institutions in domestic services zone. India's first operational IFSC, International Financial Service Centre, was brought into operations in April 2015 by the Government of India's Ministry of Finance. Subsequently, the Ministry of Finance has established a unified authority to regulate all financial services in gift IFSC with attractive taxation regime and regulations at par with the global standards. Gift City IFSC ranked the first amongst top 15 global financial centre that will become more significant and the first in reputational advantage in the Global Financial Centres Index 28. India's first international exchange, BSE's India Inks, was inaugurated by the Prime Minister in January 2017. Within few years of operations, the daily trading volume of international exchanges at International Financial Services Centre has crossed billions of dollars. Also, leading foreign and national banks have started their offshore transactions. While substantial insurance business have started from GIFT IFSC, some of the new business verticals commenced at GIFT IFSC are aircraft leasing and financing, global in-house centers, alternate investment funds and bullion exchange. From trade and industry point of view, GIFT provides multiple benefits to businesses, one leading to another. The smartest city is a gift to Gujarat and the nation. Gift is where smart landscape means sustainable living. Gift is where sports, cultural and entertainment events keep the city alive with exuberance. Gift City, Gujarat International Finance Tech City. India's first operational smart city and IFSE. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the vision of the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi Ji, is becoming tangible by the moment. Now, the moment that all of us have been waiting for. May I now request Sri Murubhai Vera, Honorable Minister for Tourism, Cultural Activities, Forest and Environment and Climate Change, Government of Gujarat, to present his invaluable address. Sir, please. नमस्कार 
क्या गुवाहाटी में होना मेरे लिए बहुत खुशी की बात है और मैं इस अवसर की शोभा बढ़ाने के लिए आप सभी सभी को धन्यवाद देता हूँ गुजरात और आसाम भौगोलिक रूप से दूर होने बावजूद कुछ सांस्कृतिक और आर्थिक समानता ये साझा करते हैं दोनों राज्य में समृद्ध ग्लोबल समिट की परिकल्पना हमारे मान्य प्रधानमंत्री जी नरेंद्र भाई मोदी जी की दूरदर्शी नेतृत्व में और वे दो में राज्य की एक वैश्विक व्यापार के केंद्र के रूप में बनाने का और राज्य के सभी नागरिकों को समान विकास के अवसर प्रदान करने के लिए की गई थी उनके नेतृत्व में वाइब्रेंट गुजरात बिजनेस नेटवर्किंग नॉलेज शेयरिंग और समावेशी सामाजिक आर्थिक विकास के लिए रणनीतिक साझेदारी के लिए सबसे प्रतिष्ठित वैश्विक मंचों में से एक रूप से विकसित हुआ संक्षेप में आज वैश्विक सीओ स्थानीय उद्योगों के साथ संबंध बनाने विकास के नए रास्ताओं पर विचार करने और निवेश करने के लिए सहयोग कर, करने के लिए गुजरात आते हैं और इस तरह से राज्य की आर्थिक समृद्धि को आगे बढ़ाते हैं हमारे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी नरेंद्र भाई मोदी जी ने स्थापित पद के तहत हम इस विरासत को आगे बढ़ा रहे हैं हम दस ग्यारह बारह जनवरी 2024 को महात्मा मंदिर गांधीनगर में गुजरात में वाइब्रेंट ग्लोबल समिट के दसवें चरण का आयोजन कर रहे हैं समिट का उद्घाटन दसवीं जनवरी का 2024 के माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी मोदी साहब के और राष्ट्र के प्रमुख प्रमुखों मंत्रियों विभिन्न देशों के वरिष्ठ राजनीतिज्ञों भारत सरकार के मंत्रियों वैश्विक सीओ बहुपक्षीय संगठनों के प्रतिनिधियों और बुद्धिजी जीवियों नेताओं के गरिमा में उपस्थिति में किया जाएगा वाइब्रेंट गुजरात समिट दसवें चरण का जो थीम है विषय है वो गेट वे टू द फ्यूचर रखा है माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के विकसित भारत विजन दो हजार का जे दृष्टिकोण को आगे बढ़ाते हैं देवियों और सज्जनों हमने हाल ही में राष्ट्रीय और अंतर्राष्ट्रीय भागीदारी और उद्योग जगत के वैश्विक नेताओं की उपस्थिति में अहमदाबाद में वाइब्रेंट ग्लोबल समिट के बीच साल पूरे होने को सक्सेस ऑफ समिट समिट के रूप में मनाया जो गुजरात के समग्र और समावेशी विकास की यात्रा के दौरान हमारे साथ रहे साथियों मुझे ये बताने हुए बहुत गर्व है कब हो रहा है कि बीस साल का विकास का और बीस साल विश्वास का एक दूसरे को पर्याय बन गए हैं गुजरात देश का ग्रोथ इंजिन बनकर आगे बढ़ रहा है वाइब्रेंट गुजरात ग्लोबल समिट हमारे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी नरेंद्र भाई मोदी जी ने मौलिक विचार ने राज्य में निवेश बढ़ाने के लिए एक मजबूत नींव रखी है परिणाम स्वरूप पिछले दो दशक में दो से दो तक गुजरात को कुल पंचावन बिलियन अमेरिकी डॉलर का संचय विदेशी निवेश प्राप्त हुआ है दोस्तों हमारे आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने आने वाले वर्षों में भारत की पांच ट्रिलियन अमेरिकी डॉलर की अर्थव्यवस्था बनाने का बनाने का दृष्टिकोण रखा है माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने दृष्टिकोण के अनुरूप गुजरात 
ने राष्ट्रीय अर्थव्यवस्था में दस दसवें का टका उसमें अधिक योगदान का लक्ष्य रखा है पीएम एम शक्ति मास्टर प्लान उत्पादन से जुड़ी उत्पादन योजना पारदर्शी अनुमानित कर प्रणाली इज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस और जीवन में ये आसानी के मेक इन इंडिया डिजिटल कॉमर्स के लिए ओपन नेटवर्क कई सक्रिय पहलों में कुछ है सक्रिय नीति निर्धारण इज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस निवेशक का अनुकूल दृष्टिकोण मजबूत औद्योगिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और जीवन समर्पित गुणवत्ता का गुणवत्ता से प्रेरित गुजरात पिछले दो दशकों में से निवेशक के लिए सबसे पसंदीद स्थान हो रहा है हमारी सरकार ने जे राज्य में बेहतर इन्वेस्टमेंट इको सिस्टम बनाने के लिए निवेशक अनुकूल नीतियाँ लागू की है उनके उदाहरण में जो मैं बात करूँ तो उद्योग की सहायता के लिए आत्मनिर्भर गुजरात योजना 2022, इंडस्ट्रीज पॉलिसी 2020, इंटीग्रेटेड इंटरग्रेटेड एंड लॉजिस्ट पार्क पॉलिसी 2021, इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल पॉलिसी 2021, टूरिज्म पॉलिसी 2021, आईटी एंड आईटीईएस पॉलिसी 2022 और गुजरात सेमीकंडक्टर पॉलिसी 2022 जैसी अनेक पॉलिसी बना बनाने के बनाई हुई है गुजरात आज भारत में निर्यात में अग्रणीय योगदान से एक है 2022 हजार में भारत के निर्यात में राज्य में योगदान में गुजरात का तैतीस टका से अधिक था जो देश की किसी भी राज्य द्वारा सबसे अधिक था गुजरात को भारत में सबसे लंबे समुद्र किनारा का आशीर्वाद मिला है सौ सौ किलोमीटर समुद्र किनारा है उनके होने से भारत की 40 प्रतिशत माल परिवहन की वो संभालता है सामाजिक आर्थिक प्रगति के और आगे बढ़ाने के लिए हमारी सरकार विविध सेक्टर में ध्यान केंद्रित कर, कर रही है जैसे कि ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक लाइजर बैटरी स्टोरेज रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल अंतरिक्ष संबंधी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिराबिक्स टेक्निकल टेक्सटाइल लेब ग्रो ग्रीन डायमंड जेम्स और ज्वेलरी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिस्टम डिजाइन और मैन्युफैक्चर सेमी कंडक्टर फिटटेक स्टार्टअप और इनोवेशन वाइब्रेंट समिट ने गुजरात की फ्यूचर रेडी मेगा परियोजना परियोजना जैसे कि गिफ्ट सिटी धोरेरा पीएम मित्रा पार्क मांडल बेचराजी पी सी पी आर जैसे विशेष निवेश क्षेत्रों में महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका निभाई है गुजरात पी सी पी आई आर केमिकल और फर्टिलाइजर मंत्रालय भारत सरकार द्वारा पी सी पी आई आर आर पॉलिसी दो हजार सात के तहत घोषित चार पी सी पी आई आर आर एन में से एक है इसमें ओ एन जी सी एशिया के सबसे बड़ी पेट्रोकेमिकल्स कॉम्प्लेक्स की उपस्थिति है यह चार सौ तिरपन वर्ग किलोमीटर क्षेत्र में दहेज में मध्य गुजरात में स्थित है और मौजूदा ब्रॉडगेज रेल लाइन रेल राष्ट्रीय और राज्य दोहरी मार्ग सड़कों समुद्रों और हवाई कनेक्टिविटी रणनीतिक स्थान का लाभ उठाते हैं धोलेरा विशेष निवेश के जो एस आई आर नौ दो सौ बीस वर्ग किलोमीटर के क्षेत्र में फैला हुआ है गुजरात का एक और महत्वपूर्ण इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर विकास परियोजना यह भारत का सबसे बड़ा ग्रीनफील्ड और औद्योगिक निवेश क्षेत्र और पहला ग्रीनफील्ड औद्योगिक औद्योगिक स्मार्ट शहर है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स उभरती टेक्नोलॉजी जिस ऑटो और ऑटो सहाय सहायक एग्रो फ्रूट प्रोसेसिंग धातु और धातुओं में कर्म उत्पाद आदि दौलेरा 
एस के लिए उच्च क्षमता के क्षेत्रों में पहचान की गई है विश्व स्तरीय कनेक्टिविटी प्रदान करने करने के लिए दोलेरा में एक अंतर्राष्ट्रीय हवाई अड्डा विकसित किया गया ये है और अहमदाबाद में दोलेरा के बीच एक एक्सप्रेस वे का, का विकसित किया है माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने फाइव एफ विजन यानी फार्म से फाइबर से फैक्ट्री से फैशन से फॉरेन तक जे प्रेरित होकर गुजरात सरकार का नवसारी डिस्ट्रिक्ट में जे जो वासी वाव में एक मेगा इंडस्ट्री टेक्सटाइल रीजन और एप्रल पार्क स्थापित करने की प्रक्रिया में है ग्यारह सौ बैतालीस एकड़ एकड़ क्षेत्रों में फैला हुआ है पीएम मित्रा पार्क को टेक्सटाइल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग को और निष्णांत के लिए एक वैश्विक केंद्र बनाने सरकार का दृष्टिकोण साकार करने की दिशा में आगे बढ़ रहा है आगामी वाइब्रेंट समिट में मैं पहला पहले बताया इस विशेष सेमिनार और कार्यक्रम में भी आयोजित किया है और देश के इस अमृत काल में मैं आयोजित हो रहा है वाइब्रेंट गुजरात समिट का दसवा संस्करण में हमारे बीच हमारे लिए अमृत भविष्य बने ऐसी मेरी अपेक्षा है आगामी वाइब्रेंट समिट में बिजनेस नेटवर्किंग और नॉलेज शेयरिंग से अधिक कम लाभ प्राप्त करने के लिए आप सभी दसवें वाइब्रेंट गुजरात ग्लोबल समिट में सादर आमंत्रित आप सभी को आमंत्रित सादर आमंत्रित करता हूँ आइए हम सब साथ मिलकर सशक्त और विकसित भारत के लिए के संकल्प की साकार साकार साक्षात करने के लिए कार्यरत बने गुजरात सरकार की धरती पर सरकार की धरती पर आप सब सबका स्वागत करने के लिए हम उत्सुक हैं धन्यवाद वंदे मातरम भारत माता की जय 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 गरीब थैंक यू श्री मुर भाई बेरा सर ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर टूरिज्म कल्चरल एक्टिविटीज फॉरेस्ट एंड एनवायरनमेंट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ गुजरात फॉर योर इनवैल्यूएबल स्पीच मे आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट श्री जयपाल सिंह एडिशनल चीफ कंजर्वेटर ऑफ फॉरेस्ट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ गुजरात टू प्रपोज द वोट ऑफ थैंक्स सर गुजरात सरकार द्वारा आयोजित वाइब्रेंट गुजरात 2024 ट्वेंटी ग्लोबल समिट के आज के कार्यक्रम के अध्यक्ष माननीय मंत्री श्री मोड़ू भाई बेरा साहब गुजरात सरकार में प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी श्री संजीव कुमार साहब गुजरात पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड के श्री बारट साहब मिस्टर तेजस परमार मिस्टर भास्कर फुकन मिस्टर विनोद अग्रवाल आज के इस कार्यक्रम में आप सभी सम्मानित उपस्थित उद्योगकार और अन्य सभी उपस्थित भाइयों और बहनों का मैं हृदय से गुजरात सरकार की ओर से माननीय मंत्री श्री की ओर से और गुजरात टीम की ओर से आभार प्रदर्शित करता हूं स्पेसिफिकली कुछ प्रमुख मेहमान हमारे बीच में आज उपस्थित हैं जो इसके पहले की वन टू वन मीटिंग में भी हमारे साथ रहे और खूब अच्छे इंसाइट्स हमको मिले और खूब अच्छी फ्रूटफुल डेलीब्रेशंस इसके पहले सेशन में भी हुए उनमें श्री रजनीश गोगोई श्री संजय चौधरी उपस्थित हैं श्री बसंत कुमार श्री बजरंग लोहिया श्री लोकेश सिंगल जी डॉक्टर प्रमोद कुमार मिस्टर सुब्रोतो शर्मा मिस्टर भास्कर फुकन एंड सीआईआई की डायरेक्टर मिस शांता शर्मा जी ये सभी उपस्थित हैं इन आप सबका भी हृदय से फिर से हम गुजरात सरकार की ओर से आभार प्रकट करते हैं गुजराती समाज के 
गुजराती माज कहूँ गुजराती समाज ना हमारा अगर नहीं हो मुंजवन थाई चाहिए कि गुजराती आसामी के ये कि आसामी गुजराती के ये पन हमारे त्यां कहवत चाहिए कि जहाँ वसे एक पन गुजराती त्यां सदा काल गुजरात केवल गुजराती समाज ना हमारा कामंत्रित में मानो गई काले पन हमारी साथे है ता आजे पन हमारी साथे चे आप सोनो खूब खूब आभार प्रकट कर लिए ची आसाम गुजरात की तरफ से हम लोगों को जो सहकार मिला उसके लिए हमारे लॉजिस्टिक और नॉलेज पार्टनर जो हैं सीआईआई हैं पीकी हैं सोचे में केपीएमजी हैं ईएनडीवाई हैं आप सब का भी खूब खूब आभार और होटल विवांता को ये अच्छा एक वेन्यू प्रदान करने के लिए और सभी लॉजिस्टिक अरेंजमेंट में हमको सहकार करने के लिए खूब खूब आभार प्रकट करता हूँ और आप सब को अंत में फिर से वाइब्रेंट गुजरात समिट में भाग लेने के लिए आमंत्रित करते हैं और हम सब आपके लिए एक रेड कारपेट लगा के आप सब का इंतजार करेंगे धन्यवाद We will request uh, our Honourable Minister and the dignitaries on the days to kindly stand for a photo opportunity. I think the photographers will take a picture. Thank you, and uh, thank you to our dignitaries. We request you to join us for lunch, and everyone present here, please join us for lunch now. And of course, you can interact with our dignitaries on the days when we are on stage. Thank you, and have a great afternoon ahead. Thank you very much.